Lisa McCune, a name that resonates with countless fans across Australia and beyond. Just say the name and a wave of warmth washes over you. It's like a comforting hug from a long lost friend. She's a familiar face, a friend on our screens. Her presence brought a sense of comfort and familiarity. We watched her grow up as Maggie Doyle on Blue Healers. Week after week, we were captivated by her journey. For many of us, Blue Healers was more than just a show. It was a shared experience, a topic of conversation at family dinners and friendly gatherings. It was a weekly visit to a place where everyone knew your name, Mount Thomas, a fictional town that felt so real, it became a part of our lives. A small town full of big hearts. The characters were more than just actors. They were our neighbors, our friends. Now, I have a dream. A dream that rekindles the magic of those days. I want to bring Blue Healers back to our screens, to revive the stories that once brought us together. It's a dream many of us share. The excitement of seeing familiar faces and hearing those beloved lines again. To hear those iconic opening bars once again would be like coming home. A nostalgic return to simpler times. But this time, things would be different. The world has changed. And so must our beloved show. This time, Maggie Doyle wouldn't just be solving crimes. She'd be guiding a new generation of officers. She'd be passing the torch to a new generation, teaching them the values and lessons that made Blue Healers so special. Imagine the stories, the challenges, and the triumphs. A blend of old and new, honoring the past while embracing the future. Together, we can make this dream a reality, bringing back the show that touched so many lives. With Lisa McCoon leading the way, we can once again find solace in the stories of Mount Thomas. Let's bring Blue Healers back, for the memories, for the future, for all of us. Blue Healers wasn't just another cop show, it was uniquely Australian. It brought to life the essence of small town Australia with its close-knit communities and everyday heroes. The show captured the heart of our country. It wasn't just about crime and justice, it was about the people, their stories, and their struggles. From the dusty streets of Mount Thomas to the familiar accents, it felt real. The authenticity of the setting and the characters made it relatable to viewers across Australia. Week after week, millions tuned in. It became a ritual for many families, a time to gather and watch the latest episode together. We laughed with the characters, cried with them, and felt every triumph and heartbreak. The emotional depth of the show resonated with audiences, making us feel like we were part of their world. Blue Healers wasn't afraid to tackle tough issues. It delved into the complexities of life, showing that being a police officer was more than just a job. It was a calling. Domestic violence, racism, and other social issues were portrayed with sensitivity and realism. The show didn't shy away from the darker aspects of society. Homophobia. The show brought these conversations into our living rooms. It made us confront uncomfortable truths and reflect on our own beliefs and attitudes. It sparked important dialogues and challenged our perspectives. Blue Healers encouraged viewers to think critically about the world around them and the issues that affect us all. It showed us the human faces behind the uniform. The characters were not just law enforcers, they were friends, family members, and community leaders. And it taught us that even in the toughest of times, there's always hope. The resilience and determination of the characters inspired us to believe in the power of community and the strength of the human spirit. Lisa McCoon isn't just the face of Blue Healers. She's its biggest fan. The show holds a special place in her heart. It launched her career, it introduced her to lifelong friends, and it connected her with a community of passionate viewers. Now, she dreams of revisiting Mount Thomas not just for herself, but for all of us. She sees a reboot as a chance to recapture the magic, to introduce a new generation to the warmth and heart of Blue Healers, to explore the challenges facing rural communities today, and to remind us of the power of community, compassion, and courage. Why bring Blue Healers back now? Lisa believes the time is right. In a world filled with uncertainty, we crave familiarity. We crave connection. We crave stories that remind us of our shared humanity. 
Blue Healers offers all of that and more. It reminds us of a simpler time, a time when neighbors helped neighbors, a time when a friendly face could brighten even the darkest of days. In a world saturated with high concept dramas and reality TV, there's a longing for authenticity, for stories that reflect our lives and our values, stories like Blue Healers. Section five, the legacy of Blue Healers, more than just a cop show. Blue Healers wasn't just a show, it was a cultural phenomenon. It put Australian television on the map, it launched careers, and it sparked conversations that continue today. The show broke new ground with its realistic portrayal of police work. It tackled social issues head on, and it gave a voice to those who often felt unheard. Blue Healers wasn't afraid to challenge its audience. It made us think, it made us feel, and it left an indelible mark on Australian television history. stronger than ever. Section 7, The Power of Nostalgia, Why We Crave Familiar Faces and Places. There's a reason why nostalgia is so powerful. It reminds us of simpler times, happier times, times when life felt less complicated. Seeing Lisa McCoon back in uniform, walking the streets of Mount Thomas, would evoke those feelings. It would be like stepping back in time, to a place where everyone knows your name, where the biggest worry is whether the footy team will win on Saturday. In a world that often feels chaotic and uncertain, Blue Healers offers a comforting sense of familiarity. Section 8, Passing the Torch, Training a New Breed of Officers. A Blue Healers reboot wouldn't just be about bringing back familiar faces, it would also be about introducing new ones. Imagine a new generation of officers learning the ropes from Maggie Doyle herself, Young, eager recruits facing the same challenges their predecessors did, but with a modern twist. The potential for compelling storylines is endless. The mentorship, the camaraderie, the clash of old and new. It's a recipe for television gold. Section 9. Your Voice Matters, Shaping the Future of Australian Television. Bringing back Blue Healers isn't just a dream, it's a possibility, but it needs your support. Networks are always looking for the next big hit. They want to know what viewers want to see. And that's where you come in. Make your voice heard. Tell the networks you want Blue Healers back on your screens. Vote for it in online polls. Start a social media campaign. 
Let's show the networks that Australia is ready for the return of this iconic show. Section 10. Stay informed. Exclusive insights with the Daily Telegraph. Want to stay up to date on all the latest news about a potential Blue Healers reboot? Subscribe to the Daily Telegraph. We'll bring you exclusive interviews with the cast and crew, behind the scenes sneak peeks, and all the latest developments. Don't miss out. Subscribe today and be the first to know if and when Blue Healers returns to our screens. Section 11. A toast to Blue Healers. Here's to hoping the dream becomes reality. Lisa McCoon's dream of a Blue Healers reboot is a dream shared by many. It's a chance to revisit a beloved show, to reconnect with familiar faces, and to experience the warmth, humor, and heart that made Blue Healers so special. So, let's raise a glass to Blue Healers, to its legacy, to its future, and to the hope that one day soon, we'll be welcoming the residents of Mount Thomas back into our homes and our hearts.